Hi everyone, and welcome to this video lecture on machine learning and Earth observation for the Sustainable Development Goals. My name is Claudio Percello, and I'm adjunct professor at the University of Twente, Faculty of Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation. In this lecture, I will present the role of machine learning and Earth observation in the context of the Sustainable Development Goals and provide a brief overview of the United Nations Agenda. After that, we will dive into specific applications where machine learning and Earth observation can contribute to the monitoring and achievement of the SDGs. Let's start with a short motivation. Why do we need machine learning in Earth observation? In the last decades, we have observed an increasing availability of Earth observation data acquired by different platforms, such as satellites, airplanes, drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV in short, and sensor types, including optical and synthetic aperture radar images. The quantity and the quality of such data are continuously increasing. We also see an increased availability of open data that can be openly and freely used by anyone, such as those acquired by the Copernicus program of the European Commission. Earth observation data provide continuous uh, information on our planet, resulting in huge volumes of data acquired daily. Therefore, the challenge is to extract geospatial information efficiently in an automated manner. Here is where machine learning comes into play. Machine learning techniques allow us to automatically translate Earth observation data into useful geospatial information often taking the form of maps, such as land cover or land use maps, crop type maps, or cadastro boundaries. A lot of research has been going on in the last decades in machine learning for Earth observation, but more is needed to bring research results into operational solutions. The combination of machine learning and Earth observation has found many applications in mapping and monitoring natural and anthropogenic processes at the local or regional level. This information is fundamental for decision making. Nevertheless, I would like to emphasize in this lecture the opportunity for Earth observation and machine learning con to contribute to some of the most pressing global societal and environmental challenges, such as those identified by the Sustainable Development Goals. Earth observation provides a global view of the Earth systems, of the Earth system, without national or regional boundaries. Combined with scalable machine learning methods, it allows us to obtain geospatial information to understand better phenomena such as urban growth and poverty to map and monitor deprived urban areas, provide actionable information to pursue food and tenure security, study climate change, and design effective mitigation and adaptation strategies. But what are the Sustainable Development Goals? It's, a, it's an agenda developed by the United Nations, a plan of action to end poverty and reach peace and prosperity by 2030. It contains ambitious goals that should motivate nations and us all to work hard to achieve a sustainable and prosperous future. The agenda is structured according to 17 goals, 129 targets and 232 indicators. It recognizes the importance of collecting objective, accurate, and trustworthy data for decision-making. And it is the first truly data-driven framework for evidence-based decision-making and policy development. The good news is that about 34 indicators can be directly or indirectly informed by Earth's observation data. Therefore, I hope that you by developing your knowledge and skills in machine learning and Earth observation will help the world achieve the Sustainable Development Goal. 
If you're interested in knowing more about machine learning and Earth observation for the SDGs, I invite you to read the paper with the reference at the bottom of this slide. Let us have some uh, considerations before concluding uh, the first part of this lecture. Machine learning and Earth observation are useful for efficiently extracting geospatial information with a lot of advantages. Reduced cost and time, objective and reproducible results, consistent maps and information across countries. However, there are still challenges to be addressed. So far, uh, the agenda does not consider data quality in the national reporting. This is, this is a limitation that should be addressed. From a technical viewpoint, more effort should be invested to quantify data and model uncertainty reliably, as well as make models trustworthy and explainable. Also, addressing complex societal problems requires an interdisciplinary approach in order to address wicked problems where many stakeholders are involved, often with conflicting interests. In the next videos, I will present research lines linked to specific SDGs. These are examples of activities designed to contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals and it is also an opportunity for me to share some of the research activities I am involved with my group and several collaborators. The first topic is about mapping deprived urban areas and is linked to SDG 11. The second topic is about mapping smallholder farms and is linked to SDG 2. Then we have cadastral mapping which is linked to several targets and indicators in the SDG agenda. And finally, I will talk about global glacier mapping, which is essential for climate change studies. This is all for this first video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next classes.